a vocal rendition from players and supporters of God Save the Queen and to follow the Italian national anthem Leno di Mameli. Beautifully bowled by Edwards. Swung away the first boundary of the Group C final, and it's a six over cover. Cover, beg your pardon. Outrageously good shot this from a man who is bang in form, Nisar Ahmed. Got 51 not out against the Czech Republic. Oh, he's not bowled to the plan from his very first ball, and that's almost gone for a six right behind the keeper, Dan Lincoln. It is a one bounce four. More like it from Woods in terms of being fuller, but it's straight onto the pads, just inviting that lovely slog sweep. And it's back to back boundaries for Sharif. Shorter, down the ground, six more. Three boundaries in a row. Well, we weren't entirely sure of Italy's decision to win the toss and bat first. They're certainly making it work for them. Here's Edwards. Slow ball, picked up and over the head of us in the commentary box. Well, this is more like 10 than 6. A massive hit from Sharif. He's getting a bit of tap here. And he goes for 6 more here through mid-wicket. Just too short, not quick enough to bother Sharif. This is outstanding hitting. Miscued, should be out. And it is out. A huge moment for the England eleven and Rich Edwards, who gets his revenge. And the man who has carried Italy through to finals week with his bat has to go. Amir Sharif is out for 28 of just nine. Pulled away, and his last ball of his spell goes for four more through deep backward square legs. So Baljit Singh off the mark in confident mood. But you won the next six, including a big upset over the England eleven that seemed to turn everything around. Yeah, we had a problem. I think uh, the guys had uh, felt a bit of pressure at the beginning. Uh, most of them never played in uh, such an important tournament, but uh, we worked together as a team and uh, we pulled it together. Down the ground from Sheikh. Lovely shot, four runs. Straight back past Russell and over his head. Flicked away by Baljit Singh, though. And he's got that in the gap. And his first ball is overpitched and gets thumped. Well, that is a huge six. Lovely shot. Se corse, as they say in Italian, six runs. And they're past the 50 mark from the very first ball of the fifth over. Just wonder whether the spins will get outside the line. This could be out. It is out. Taken by Bevan. Regulation catch. And three quick wickets for the England 11. You've got Italy in a spin, just like what happened to Germany earlier on in the day. It's the combination of Pierce and Russell who are doing the trick. Down the ground, stand and deliver. Six 
just about gets up over the rope from Baljit Singh. Slow ball, picked up really well and absolutely hammered into the gap. What a shot that is from Kostler. Kostler gets boundary as well. No full toss and caught at cover. A really good diving low catch from Alex Meller. And Rishton gets fortunate most of the time you bowl the full toss in T10. The only question is, is it going for four or six? But it's out, 75 for four. Swept away, and that will be another boundary at six. It's just about got over the deep backward square row. Just on that leg stump and flipped around the corner. Down the ground, that's a huge six. Six more for Baljit. The captain is carrying them against England once again. Not got all of that. Short fine leg, could be out. Very smart glove work from Lincoln. We're going to go to the third umpire to have a check of this. Well, we've not got the best view in the commentary box. We're at the other end of the ground, but that's, of course, what we've got Spring Productions and their fantastic work for to have a second look at this one. Is Ahmad Khan out without facing a ball? I this is trouble. So. And he could have gone first ball here. And taken, a really good catch. He had to run back a long way there, Sam Pierce. Made sure he judged it well in the early evening sun. And all of a sudden, it is 87 for six. And losing wickets rapidly now, the Italians. Goes inside out, Baljit, and gets just enough. Six over point. Tries to mess with Akhtar with the funky footwork, and he wins that battle. So dependent on the skipper here, and he keeps going on this occasion. And again from Baljit, lovely shot this. Cover drive, straight bat, six more. Short, and this is going to go as well. Three sixes in a row from Baljit Singh. Take that to Manakta. No wonder the Italian dugout are so happy. 108 for six at the end of the eighth, and Baljit has 46 of just 13, Sekose, six runs. Swings this away, Baljit, and he'll go to 50. An extraordinary knock from an extraordinary player who keeps standing up when his country need him most. Baljit Singh goes to the second fastest 50 at this entire Dream 11 European Cricket Championship. For Simran. And he goes after it, and it's six more. Well, we've talked about 120 as par. They are going past it with an over to spare. And Baljit does go this time. Over cover for six. And into the crowd. What a shot that is. Baljit Singh scoring most of his runs here in maximums. His eighth six. Down the ground, six more. Straight back past the bowler. Well, this is just sublime hitting. Goes again, cry of anguish and frustration. I think of two, they're not even going to try it in the end. So they've put up a very good score, Italy, 141 for six. back by Ward who started the week a series of useful 30s and 40s scored at a very fast rate Harrison Ward is. down the ground lovely shot from Lincoln six runs over long on gorgeously played and goes again gorgeous holds the pose Lincoln and why not hold the pose when you can play a shot like that back-to-back -back sixes This is short, could have left it alone and taken the wide, but instead he takes four through extra cover. So Lincoln's on a roll here. And this is flicked away, and this will be six more through mid-wicket. Gorgeous timing from Dan Lincoln. As inside out, Ward doesn't get all of it, could be out. Oh, and he's lost it in the sun. A horrible moment for Baljit Singh, the Indian captain. 
And they also scramble back for two. Flipped away by Lincoln through deep backward square. Beautifully done. Met it with a straight blade and then flicked it away. Low full toss. And he's not going to miss out on that. It's poorly bowled through cover point. Four more. And well, Lincoln is single-handedly carrying England here. Swung away, six more for Lincoln. Well, this is an extraordinary spell of hitting. We saw what Baljit, Skin, Baljit Singh, the Indian, the Italian skipper earlier on did. Beg your pardon. Planning the England socials. We're hoping that they're planning it as Group C winners. As Dan Lincoln does his best to take them there and he gets dropped over the row by Irfan Sheikh. Well, that really is costly. And it brings up 50 for Dan Lincoln, the fastest 50 of this entire Dream 11 European Cricket Championship. And he's chipped it straight to cover. Well, Ward struggles to end. He's gone for five off nine. It is a bit of consolation for Italy. They do really want to get Lincoln out, but Ward's wicket is useful too. 59 for one. Little Nick and gone. Just what Italy needed. And that's Mella gone cheaply. He's been su in such good form for this England 11 recently. But he has to go here. 70 off 26 against the Czech Republic on Wednesday. He can be very dangerous. But here, it's a duck. That's huge. Well, that is a long, long way. Not just over the boundary, but over the scorers and commentators' tents. That's not so much a six. And this is another one on one knee through the covers. Short, horrible delivery. And that's another one for Rishton. Up and over cover, sort of front foot cut shot. Well, this is astonishing stuff from Andy Rishton, who's giving Lincoln the exact support he needs. 81 for two at the end of the fifth. Gets funky, Lincoln. And this has gone nowhere near where he's meant it to go. He's meant to get this through deep third, and instead he sort of pulls it all the way around completely inadvertently. It's the most bizarre shot we've seen at this Dream 11 European Cricket Championship. And that's nicked, and a bit of fortune for Lincoln. He's going to pick up four. Local toss, and that's going to get put away as well. Down on one knee, slog sweeps, nicely done. It's yet another six for Lincoln, he's seventh of the innings. Oh, outrageous from Lincoln. Down on one knee, has gone almost over the tree line at deep square leg. What a shot. Another six for Lincoln, and this is the biggest of the lot. It takes England past the 100 mark, 104 for two. That will be cut away, and that goes for four through point. Just too short and too wide. This time Lincoln slog sweeps, and he's going to get four through square leg. Steps down and slog sweeps again. And this is another one towards, if not over the trees. Absolutely class hitting from Dan Lincoln. Short, and Rishton. Well, he should only get one here, but he'll get four. It's a terrible misfield for Irfan Sheikh. The wheels have well and truly come off the chariot now for Italy. Slow ball, skied up, tough chance. And that's a brilliant catch. And the celebration to match from Jasprit Singh. He needed to take this to keep his side in with any hope in this game. Who slog sweeps. And he's out, well taken on the deep mid-wicket road. Well, Italy are just keeping themselves in the hunt here. 16 to win off 11 now. Bevan gone for only one. And Kostler gets himself a wicket to go with his economical spell so far. Yep, you're right. And he goes away over fine leg for six. So Lincoln's now one more six away from becoming just the second ever international T10 centurion. No way of knowing. And he's going to get very close to his 100 here because that slog swept for four. Four to win. One for Lincoln Century. And he's going to get it here. Six over square leg for Dan Lincoln. 
What a knock! The true definition of a captain's innings. It's the third highest successful run chase of the tournament and Dan Lincoln becomes just the second ever T10 international centurion in the pressure of a final. He plays a quite incredible innings, 105 not out of the 144 that the England 11 have mustered. He finishes it with his 11th six to go with eight fours. He has pretty much single-handedly carried his side to victory in this Group C final.